Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And as you know already, at the weekend, I went to C3 AFA Tokyo. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can check that out to see all the upcoming Gunpla as well as a bunch of interesting resin kits. But anyway, while I was there, I thought it was the perfect time to go check out the full size life-size unicorn Gundam that they're building at Diver City in Odaiba, Tokyo. As well as that, of course, I had to check out the Gundam base as well. But before I actually get into the video properly, I will mention one funny story. I knew the 1-1 scale Gundam had to be good because on the walk from the car park to the Gundam itself, I decided to stop to relieve myself and literally some Japanese guy runs up to the urinal right next to me and furiously jacks his dick off in the time it took me to take a whiz. And I mean, there was kids, adults, everything in this packed bathroom. I mean, he literally came and went, pun intended, in the time it took me to go to the toilet. But anyway, that is really one of those only in Japan kind of stories. But anyway, on to what you came for. The Gundam and the Gundam base. On exiting Diver City, this is exactly what you're treated to, and it looks spectacular. You come out seeing just the back of the one one scale unicorn Gundam, and this thing looks fantastic, and it is not even complete yet. The weather was absolutely fantastic, the attitude was chill, well, trying to ignore what just happened in the bathroom. And all in all, even unfinished, the unicorn Gundam looked spectacular in the bright shining sun. Also, as it is the end of summer here in Japan, that means that you get those really cool Higurashi sounds, like from the cicadas. It just sounds like Evangelion around there. If this is what this thing looks like right now, I really can't wait to see it when it's finished. I'm not entirely sure when it's going to be up fully, but once it is, I'm definitely going to go back and check it out. It's just so cool. I saw the 1-1 scale regular Gundam, the granddaddy one, back in the day when that one was being put up, and that looked fantastic as well, but this thing, this is on a completely different level. It's so cool. Of course, if you're a Gundam fan and you ever find yourself in Japan, you have to check this thing out. It is just so awesome. It looks amazing. Of course, the next thing to do is check out the Gundam Cafe, which is right beside the Gundam. This is a takeout only sort of place, and it is not just coffee. In here, there's tons of awesome Gundam merch. You've got everything from towels, t-shirts, phone cases, and a real obsession with the Ryusei Go, I noticed. Pretty much all your Gundam merchandise needs are catered for here. Forks and spoons shaped after actual Gundam weapons, boxes and boxes of Gundam-themed snacks, and without a doubt, my favorite thing in the entire shop are these. These aren't just plushies. They look like plushies, but these are actually pencil cases. These are awesome. We've got an orphan chew cup as well as tons, and I mean literally tons of Ryusei Go merch. I didn't know it was that popular, but I guess a lot of people really like Shino. However, if that's not for you, we've got Gundams, Bear Guys, Sinanju, Banshee. The amount of Gundam themed cups in here is insane. But on leaving the Gundam Cafe, I had to say goodbye to the Gundam Unicorn one more time before moving up to the seventh floor of the building to check out the Gundam base. I've been there before when it was Gundam Front and I wasn't too impressed by it. But this, this is something else entirely. Just on walking through the front door, I could tell that they'd changed this entirely for the better. It's improved so much from what it was before. Immediately on your right once you enter is one 100 scale model kits of every single main Gundam from every series ever. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of just assuming that. They had so many one 100 kits, they were all main mobile suits. And I can only assume this is every one 100 scale model kit of every Gundam released so far. Next to the left of that, we have a whole lot of customized Gunpla made by people who I assume are famous in some way or another, but I really didn't take much time to look at them. And in the center of the entrance area in massive columns are the Gunpla that started it all. All the first ever forms of the Oryx 78 II of each grade. Starting from the first ever kit that was released in 1980 through to the high grades, Master Grades, as well as the Perfect Grade, and finally moving on to the Master Grade 2.0. There was also an SD, but I didn't see a real grade anywhere. I may have missed it, but I didn't see it. A huge display showing the limited items that you can only get here at the Gundam base. And panning over to the left of that then, and that's all the new releases that have just come out. 
Moving into the left then and we get the proper shop itself. Just to the left of that then is the Strict G store where you can get all your Gundam t-shirts, clothing, jewelry, bags, pretty much everything you'd want. And Strict G tries to keep it classy. And of course then is the Gumpla shop itself. They have so much here. They must have literally every kit ever made, ever. All the kits in this section are separated into different series, different grades, different kinds of Gumpla. From these older kits you're seeing right now, a big section of only Vuraka kits, and all of these are pre-made so you can check them out before buying them in this cabinet. That is so cool. To the right of the Vuraka kits is all the perfect grades, and seeing stuff like this really, really lets me know that, that the collection of Gumpla I currently own is just a drop in the ocean compared to all that is available. Right now, I only have two perfect grades, so I really need to get my act together. To the right of that then, we've got all of the master grades, starting with the Federation suits from the very first series of Mobile Suit Gundam. So if you're looking for gyms, gun tanks, gun cannons and Gundams, this is where you're looking for, right here. The next cabinet then is dedicated to master grade Zakus, so if you're not into Federation suits, this is the one for you. From there, it seems to blur into a random selection of Universal Century Master Grade kits. Anything that's not necessarily Gundam related, Gun Tank related, or Zaku related is kept in this section right here. Moving on some more through the Master Grades, and in here seems to be some Zeta Gundam and beyond. Some Crossbone, S Gundam, as well as New Gundam in there as well. At this point, as far as I can tell, not all the boxes on the shelves are reflected in the cabinets. Next up then in the cabinet we've got a small selection of Wing, Gundam X, above that then we've got a bunch of Gundam Unicorn kits, and for some reason they seem to have a very hefty supply of Banshees in here. In the next batch of Master Grade kits we've got a whole ton of Seed kits, from Gundam Seed Astray, Gundam Seed Destiny, and at the top the five main mobile suits from Gundam Seed itself. Master Grade Gundam Age and Double O kits, and up here there's a distinct lack of orange, green and purple. I mean seriously, Setsuna's mobile suits are cool, but we need the rest. Moving into the center of the store, and this is all high grades. Right here is the Iron-Blooded Orphans high grades. I've done reviews on most of these, so if you want to see those, make sure to check them out. And as well as the high grades in this central section, we also have the 1-100 scale kits as well. That includes the standard version of the high resolution kit, as well as the full mechanics kits. Moving on to the 00 section and first off we've got the high grades. I didn't actually realize there was this many of them at all. Back when these kits were coming out I had absolutely no interest in high grades. I only wanted master grades and I'm still waiting on the rest of my 00 master grades. At the end of this section we've also got the 160 scale no grade Exia and all of those 1100 no grade 00 kits. Next section up was completely dedicated to seed high grades. At this point, I don't even know what to say. I've gotten used to seeing all the boxes in Japanese stores. You see them everywhere. But once you see all the kits actually built and displayed the way that they are here, it really puts into perspective of how much Gunpla that actually exists. Honestly, I've built a grand total of one seed high grade, so I haven't even scratched this section at all. Also crammed into this section, we have the 1100 no grades, as well as the 160th scale, no grade strike. As you'd expect, G Reco has a tiny little section kinda crammed in at the back, and there's not a lot on show here either for Gundam the Origin. If what you're on the lookout for is some of those old high grade Gundam wing kits, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, they have absolutely plenty of those. And I can't say that I was intended. All the Gundam figurized busts. 1 100 no grade G Gundam kits. More SD Gundam and BB Senshi kits than you can shake a stick at. And at this point, I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about. I've built one of these kits ever, it wasn't for me. But from the looks of things, they've probably got them all. The exact same goes for all the old school kits. I only started building Gundam really only about five years ago or so. I built my first one back in the Toonami Gundam Wing days, but anything before that I've never even seen before. These aren't usually stocked in your standard Japanese store that sells Gundam, so 
If you're on the lookout for these old school kits, then you know where to find them, right here at the Gundam base. Along the side wall is all your builder's parts as well as action bases. A few steps beyond that is a small section dedicated to Gundam builders, which on reflection really was kind of like the seed for Gundam build fighters. And of course that is exactly what is next to them. GP bases, option sets, we've got a bunch more of these Gundam build fighters. Across from that then we've got all the Gundam age kits, again a small section. Scale models of classic Gundam ships, a small section dedicated to Universal Century hard graph kits, something I've always meant to try out. More ships, as well as some system weapons. Some more recent Gundam Build Fighters kits, some of these are reviewed, if you want to see those, make sure to check them out. Ugh, not that one. The next section dedicated to shiny, shiny coated Gumpla. Again here they seem to have a huge stock of Banshees for some reason. And again right here, more shiny shinies. And then there is the section dedicated to high grade Universal Century kits. You know what this means, there's a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them. A bunch of Gundam Unicorn kits in this section as well. They seem to be finding it really hard to get rid of that Banshee I noticed. A section I can only assume is dedicated to the Gundam High Grade Revive project. High Grade G Gundam kits and for some reason I feel like I've talked about this already but I went back and checked and I hadn't. Next up, bit of a mishmash section, which is Reborn 100s, Shin Musha Gundam, Master Grade Build Fighters. And finally, finally we've come to the end, which is the High Grade Neo Zeong, the High Grade Dendrobium, some nippers, as well as painting supplies. So yes, this is the biggest Gunpla shop ever. It has to be. Finally getting out of there, and we're onto a bit of an exhibition area about how Gunpla is made. A massive spinning cylinder of Gunpla runners. This just got my nipper fingers itchy. There's big tubes of sweet, sweet Gunpla plastic all over the roof. Discs of the stuff in the floor. And just in case that wasn't making you hungry enough, you can actually go in and touch it. This might look very, very satisfying, but I have to say it is a hundred million times more satisfying than it even looks. It might look good enough to eat, but that little sign in there, that tells you not to eat it. An example of one of the machines that actually molds the Gunpla runners. A model of where the magic actually happens, that's the Shizuoka Gunpla factory. And a little exhibition on the Gunpla production process. From the design, to the molds that they use, to a finished runner, and what initially got me addicted, the box art. Some absolutely fantastic pieces from the Gunpla Builders World Cup. And these things are an absolute joy to look at in person. These are insane. I mean seriously, a Nightingale Mantis. Beside that is an exhibit of all the different grades of Gunpla from SD to high grade to real grade to master grade to perfect grade of the Unicorn Gundam. If you buy some Gunpla in the shop, you can even build it right here in this Gunpla building room. And to the right of that in the Gunpla painting room, we've got so many awesome customs. It's stuff like this that makes me really realize I have to stop slumming it and straight building my Gunpla all the time. And the last thing here at the Gundam base seems to be an event hall. Right now the event is a Gundam Build Fighters themed event. Some examples of interesting Gunpla you can throw together from Gundam Build Fighters parts. A display celebrating 10 years of Gundam 00 including life-size statues of three of the Gundam Build Fighters characters, Mao holding his high-grade Gundam X Mao, Sei holding his high-grade Build Strike, and Reiji holding his high-grade Beginning Gundam. High grades from the new OVA GM no Gyakushu, that's Nimpulse Gundam, Amazing Zagok, Finite Liberta, and Gundam X Jumao. Some concept art and stuff on display from the new Gundam Build Fighters projects. Gunpla Mafia Gyms. The Gym Weapon Kit and of course the best of them all, that awesome Psycho Gym. I need this thing. In the next cabinet over is the Zaku and the Reversible Gundam from Gundam Build Fighters Battlelog. High Grade Cheridum Saga. And Gundam Lightning Black Warrior. 
And that is pretty much it. I covered every square meter of the place so those of you who can't experience it in person can pretty much get a good idea of what the place is like. If however you are a fan of Gunpla and you do get the chance to go there, then I would totally recommend it. It's the best Gundam shop I have ever been in and probably the best Gundam shop that exists. It was pretty damn awesome. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, then leave a like. That always lets me know if you do. And of course, make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews. I'll see you next time.